Welcome Newcastle to the Gold Hill Road Bridge opening. We're out in Newcastle at the Gold Hill Road Bridge. The bridge was built in the 1930s. Uh, it was part of the WPA project. And I actually knew one of the old timers that worked on this bridge, George Variotsis. This bridge was a concrete arch bridge. The normal bridge width is 12 feet wide. The old bridge was 10 feet wide, which is substandard. In addition, it didn't have any areas for pedestrians and bicyclists to use the road because there were no shoulders. This area is really uh, famous for bicycling and uh, it's important for bicyclists to ever to ride by here without any, without any concerns. Also, it's a good, this is a good area to walk and uh, a lot of runners run through here. So the old bridge had rebar exposed on the barrier rail and at the bottom of the bridge which over time we weren't certain how long it'll take before it became a real safety hazard and so we determined that it was necessary to replace the bridge. Newcastle is a traditionally rural community. People enjoy living out here. They enjoy the habitat and all the greenery uh, and this is kind of an enhancement. This bridge is absolutely wonderful in that regard. So this community, we met with them on different occasions. We met with individuals, we met with them in groups. And we're very concerned about maintaining the rural look of the community. So we took that into consideration and designed a bridge that mimics the old bridge and also provided architectural treatment just to maintain the rural look. The old bridge was approximately 62 feet long. The new bridge is 92 feet long. This is to allow fish passage and to allow debris to flow freely in the event of a large storm. Well, we do our best management practices as far as the environment and for the habitat. Uh, we work with uh, Save Auburn Ravine, uh, Steelhead and Salmon uh, with Jack Sanchez, who is the leader of that. The project started in May of 2019 and technically they're supposed to be done by the end of December 2019 but well, we're actually finishing a couple of weeks earlier and this is just thanks to all the engineers and firms that we worked with, the construction contractor, the construction management team, the design team, the environmental consultants who have been monitoring the project throughout construction. 